We need choices. RPG, role-playing games, whatever you want to call them. They need choice. The Elder Scrolls games are fantastic RPGs for their stellar graphics, incredible combat techniques and somewhat thrilling NPCs and quests. The world is beautiful but it's missing one functioning aspect to help hold all the loose chains together and that is the choices. There is none, ever. And when there is choices, they are minor and have no major impact or consequences on anything at all ever anywhere. This one fundamental aspect is what is keeping the Elder Scrolls from ever shining true to its max potential. It sits between the borders of RPG and action adventure because of this missing feature. Let's take a look at some of the game's choices so you can get a better understanding of what I mean. And if you don't want to sit through all the examples, you can just skip ahead to the verdict. I'll have a timestamp there for you to see my total opinion if you want to see whether you agree with me or not. But before that, if you want to see more Elder Scrolls videos made, and trust me, it pushes me to make them when I see that you like the video. So like it, for my eek, for me, for Tamriel and for yourself, but mostly for me. Let's have a look at some of the quest choices in Morrowind. The heart of a Telvanni quest for Sun and Shadow. By the end of it, you either have the choice to let Aoki, if that's how you pronounce it, go free by advising Sun to do that, or keep him. And neither choice has any big consequence, just it was you either being the worst person alive and supporting slavery, or convincing Sun to be a better person. And no consequences. Have a look at the Durzog Whistle quest. You can either tell the truth to Fedar about the whistle or lie. If you tell the truth, you get money and quests complete. If you lie, you get money, still, and Fadar goes and blows the whistle and gets mauled to death by a Durzog. Again, you either end up being a nice guy or a big ass. What is the point in these choices? Morrowind has no big consequence choices that are worth mentioning any more than these, so let's move on to some Oblivion examples. Yeah, honestly, Oblivion actually doesn't have any. Like, at all. I am probably missing some super, super minor choices, but like, no, it has none. Nothing that can even be remembered by me, and it's my favorite game, so that's pretty bad. Anyways, don't mind the lack of choices in this game, there is a point to be made after I talk about Skyrim. So out of all of them, this one does actually have some choices, but again, nothing that causes any sort of major stupid consequence. The only one worth putting on any pedestal is the Civil War questline, and whichever side you decide to go on to, but like, that was rushed and it's just, yeah, the Civil War. You have the ability to destroy the Dark Brotherhood or join it, you can choose the Dawnguard in the DLC or the Vampires, but again, a couple of cool ones and whatever. So me showing you some examples from each game will help me to explain my big final point in the verdict, so listen well. You have all these pointless minor choices to none at all, and it is something that I and a lot of other people feel is holding the Elder Scrolls back. So look at some games like Knights of the Old Republic, Mass Effect, Fallout New Vegas, or even The Witcher. You have massive choices at times which completely shape your journey as a character with no ability to go back on your choice. Even the horror game Until Dawn has shown what implementing choice in a game can do with major consequences. With the entire game finishing with nobody surviving to everybody surviving. If Bethesda Game Studios were to add game impact choices, then my god it would be perfect. Let's go off of my own personal beliefs for a sec. Bethesda Game Studios already breaks and makes the lore of the world inconsistent, so I think I am allowed to pitch my idea. Why not like the Dawnguard DLC allow us to follow the Oblivion main questline until you meet Mancor Cameron and let us join and help Mancor succeed? In Morrowind, help Dagod Ur take out foes and be the bad guy. Being the good guy all the time doesn't always work. You can be with the Dark Brotherhood for god's sake, that does not bode well with a dragon slaying hero. In Skyrim, why can't you wipe out the blades and say party snacks instead of fighting him. Again, this is all personal, but Obsidian proved with New Vegas that in the creation engine, choice can be done correctly, so they have no excuse, Bethesda Game Studios. Let me know what you guys think anyway. I feel some added role-playing choice to the future installments of games and DLCs will help make it a better game. It's literally a bit of extra work on their behalf. If you run out of time for launch, just install some new choices with updates and stuff. It's not that hard. Many other developers have shown it. I believe in you, Bethesda. Anyways, guys, remember to share your thoughts in the comments and let me know what you Talk. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to check out my other content if you want to see more Elder Scrolls and other gaming shiz. As always, I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.